Israel's military is so superior and advanced that today all its enemy countries will have to think thousand times before attacking it. Much of the Arab world had solemnly sworn that they will eventually destroy Israel. The Jewish country has a lot more enemies than it has friends in the world. Hey guys, this is Prashant from Deknudu and we have yet another video. And this video is about Israel. How Israel's army became so powerful. Well, what comes to your mind when you think of Israel? Most might think that it is the only Jewish country in the world and talk about its never-ending war with Palestine. While all these facts are true, there's another very interesting fact about Israel. Well, Israel has one of the most powerful and high-tech militaries in the world. Even countries with the most advanced and powerful militaries, including the Russia and US, look at Israel's military with great admiration. But mind you, here we are talking about the military achievements of a country that is incredibly small, smaller than the United States, New Jersey state, and has a population of barely 9 million people. And that's not it. This country has fought wars with countries that are 10 times larger in size and its military size being just as large. But despite being numerically inferior, Israel not only won those wars but won them quite convincingly. In fact, Israel's military is so superior and advanced that today all its enemy countries will have to think thousand times before attacking it. This Jewish country has a lot more enemies than it has friends in the world. As a matter of fact, Israel is surrounded by enemy countries by all four sides. Therefore, the fundamental question is how did such a tiny little country literally become a military superpower? Like what are the reasons behind Israel's military invincibility? In this special story, we will try to answer this question by looking into various key factors that have supposedly helped this tiny little country in achieving this extraordinary feat. Well, let's start by first talking about Israel's strong survival instincts. Israel as a nation has to strongly nurture and encourage survival instincts among all its citizens. And it tries to achieve this by implementing and following one important rule. And this rule being that military training and service is compulsory for all the Israeli citizens. Yes, in Israel, every citizen, even those born in rich and super rich families, have to compulsarily undergo a military training and service for at least two years. However, Israel is not the only country that follows this rule. There are many countries in the world like North Korea, South Korea, Greece, Iran, Brazil and Switzerland where military training is compulsory. However, none of these countries probably follows this rule as sincerely and honestly as Israel does. Well, Israel follows the rule of compulsory military training almost like a religious doctrine. As a result, even ordinary citizens in this country are not only fully aware about all the combat techniques but are also mentally strong to face any potential military threat against their country. Hence, since a very young age, a strong patriotic feeling and unshakable mental strength is very much inherent among all the Israeli citizens. And when these same ordinary citizens go and join the Israeli army or IDF on full-time basis, their mental strength and patriotic fervor reaches to its peak level. Today, the world may praise Israel for its highly sophisticated and vast weapons, but it is the Israeli soldiers that show extraordinary courage at the battleground and during military operations. Most defense experts claim that the sheer guts and discipline shown by the Israeli soldiers during dangerous military operations is simply unparalleled. In fact, many of Israeli's sworn enemies have themselves often praised the Israeli soldiers for their extraordinary bravery and sheer discipline. They even praise the patriotic devotion that Israeli soldiers show towards their country. When Israel's sworn enemies are themselves forthcoming about praising the Israeli soldiers, you can just imagine how good Israeli soldiers are. All these qualities make Israeli soldiers among the best in the world. Therefore, it is not only those high-tech weapons that make Israeli army or IDF such a powerful one. At the heart of Israeli army's mind-boggling success lies the exemplary courage shown by the Israeli soldiers. And undoubtedly, Israeli soldiers would not have become so courageous and brave without the survival instincts that they inculcated since a very young age. This brings us to a very important question. Why is Israel so hell-bent on inculcating the survival or perish mentality among all its citizens? Well, to know the answer to this question, we will have to briefly rewind back to the history of the Jewish community. Since time immortal, Jewish community has been facing prosecution by Christians and Muslims alike. The entire phenomena of Jewish prosecution is called anti-Semitism. The anti-Semitism reached its peak during the traumatic period of the Nazi Germany. The Nazi Germans, led by the dictator Adolf Hitler, ended up killing 6 million Jews during the Nazi period. 
after suffering brutally under the reign of the Adolf Hitler, Jews increasingly started demanding for a separate Jewish country after the end of World War II. The United Nations and the Western countries finally agreed to the demand of the Jewish community. As a result, the country of Israel was formed in 1948 in and around the Jerusalem region which the millions of Jews considered as their holy land. After facing prosecution for thousands of years, Jews finally got a country that they could truly call their own. A country where Jews could dream of living peacefully and harmoniously. But peace was never going to come so easy for the Jews. That's because the Arab countries saw the creation of Jerusalem as gross injustice over the Palestinian Muslims. The Arab countries always saw the Palestinian Muslims as the original inhabitants of Jerusalem. Besides, after Mecca and Medina, Muslims consider Jerusalem to be their third most holiest place. And hence, the formation of Israel triggered a whole new war between the Arab Muslims and the newly formed Jewish state. Much of the Arab world had solemnly sworn that they will eventually destroy Israel. And sooner or later, Israel will cease to exist. To make matters worse for Israel, this country is located at the very heart of the Arab Muslim world. There are as many as 22 Muslim countries in the entire Arab world with each of those 22 Muslim countries being for the blood of Israel. With so many enemy countries being for the blood, the existence of Israel was always in doubt since its formation days. And Israelis very well knew that if they are not mentally strong enough, the Arab world would finish them off. The sheer need to survive against all odds is what really compelled Israelis to build a strong survival instinct among its citizens. And this survival instinct and indomitable mental strength has been amply demonstrated by Israelis in this countless wars that it has fought against the Arab world. Well, Israel has fought more than 20 wars till date and has been involved in as many as military operations against Palestine and the Arab world. Probably there is no other country in the world that has fought as many wars as Israel has done. And Israel has won each of these wars and that too quite single-handedly which is again a testimony to its mental resilience and indomitable willpower. Let us now move to the second factor that has helped in transforming this incredibly small country into a military powerhouse. Here I'll be talking in great details about Israel's defense weaponry. Well, Israel certainly does not have a large army like India and China, but it makes up more than for its small army by possessing some of the most sophisticated advanced weapons in the entire world. Such is the might of Israel's defense industry that today it has become one of the top arm exporters in the world. In fact, today even the military superpower like the US and advanced countries like the UK and Germany import arms from Israel. And yes, these advanced weapons are just as useful in giving sleepless nights to Israel's model enemies. But the question is, how did Israel came to acquire such advanced and deadly weapons? I mean, what really is the secret behind Israel's high-tech defense industry? It is worth noting that not too long ago, Israel was overwhelmingly dependent on other countries for importing arms and weapons. But today, the same country is exporting arms even to the US. How did this miraculous transformation really take place? What actually paved way for this miraculous transformation was a steady and important realization by Israel. The Israeli government eventually realized that it cannot permanently depend on foreign imported arms and weapons. That the country will have to make its own indigenous arms and weapons if it wants to get a decisive victory over its enemy countries. Since 1948 until 1980s, Israel was heavily relied on arms and weapons imported from western countries for fighting war against the Arab nations. Now back then, France was one of the main arm importers for Israel. But then came the all-important war of 1967, famously known as the Six-Day War. In this war, three Arab countries came together, Egypt, Jordan and Syria, to defeat Israel for once and for all. Pitted against these three countries, it was Israel that came out victorious in the war and even captured Gaza Strip and West Bank, which actually ended up increasing Israel's landmass. In other words, the Six-Day War ended up in humiliating defeat of the Arab countries and decisively tilted the balance of power in Israel's favor. But this war also made Israel realize that if it wants to maintain the domination over the Arab world, then it will have to start making indigenous arms and weapons. And all thanks to this realization, since 1970s, Israeli Army or IDF has been spending extensively on research and development. And to make sure that its extensive investment in R&D yields desirable results is 
Inside started a unique program. Now this program again has a no parallels anywhere in the world. This program is called the Talpiot Project. Now started way back in 1979, one of the main purposes of the Talpiot Project is to give a major boost to Israeli army and ideas R&D. And it tries to achieve this by selecting the sharpest and most brilliant academicians from Israel's top universities. A major emphasis is given on students who show great promise in the field of science, maths and physics. Now these selected students go through a strenuous training with the idea for a period of 10 years. During these 10 years, these students are taught the most advanced level of science, maths and computer science. After almost a decade long rigorous training, these students are successfully transformed into top level scientists and engineers whose mind and brains work all together at a different level. And when these very sharp minds and brains were used by IDF's R&D department, the results were incredibly mind-boggling. Israel ended up creating missiles, anti-missiles, tanks, drone defense systems and wide range of weapons that simply has a no match in the world. Israeli's government has also made sure that its military R&D never runs out of funds or faces any sort of financial crunch. It has made a strict policy of spending nearly 30% of its GDP on IDF's R&D alone. Probably again, there is no other country in the world that invests so much money on its military R&D like Israel does. And now, let's specifically and briefly talk about some of the Israel's most advanced and high-tech weapons. Now, let us start by talking about Israel's famous machine gun, IWI Negev, which is often described as the modern-day AK-47. This is a lightweight and gas-operated machine gun that is today used by Israeli forces during its military ops. Inducted in late 1980s, these machine guns have played a decisive role in helping Israeli forces in achieving success in some of the riskiest and deadliest military operations. Not only lightweight, this machine gun is equally quick and responsive. It can fire 600 rounds in semi-automatic mode in a minute and 750 rounds in a fully automatic mode. Now let's talk about Markava tank. Markava tank is today widely considered as one of the best military tanks in the world. The idea for Markava tank came about when Israel finally realized in the 1970s that it needed a super tank at its disposal to defend itself against the Arab countries. Now this tank is fitted with highly sophisticated smooth bore guns that is stored with 10 rounds of electronically operated revolving magazines that are waiting to fire at the target anytime. If this is not enough, let's talk about corner shots, which is the next one in our list. Well, true to its name, this special gun developed by Israel's IDF can shoot enemies hiding in the deep corners without exposing the shooter. Come on, this is crazy. This gun is fitted with two high-risk cameras that eventually helps in zeroing on the target while the body of the shooter remains completely unexposed. Today, this gun has become one of the most sought-after guns for all types of counter-terrorism operations, not only in Israel, but across the world. Was that great? Now hear more. Metador. Metador is an extremely lightweight rocket launcher that Israel Army has developed in collaboration with Germany and Singapore. Now not only lightweight but also extremely powerful, this rocket launcher can instantly destroy the enemy hidings. It is again one of those super weapons that has helped Israeli Army in so many military and anti-terrorist operations. The list of Israeli's advanced weapons is obviously quite big. But I have chosen to talk about only four weapons right now. Tell us in comments if you want us to make a special video of all the advanced weapons that Israel has managed to develop. On this note, let us now go to the final point of the video where I'll be talking about Mossad which is Israel's intelligence agency. When most people think about intelligence agencies, they mostly think about America's CIA or Russia's KGB. But when it comes to conducting daring operations and achieving success in all those operations, even CIA and KGB are no match to Israel's Mossad. Take for instance Mossad's 2018 during operation in its enemy country Iran where Mossad spies managed to break into heavily guarded military compound and stole top nuclear documents right under the nose of the Iranian security forces. According to reports, Israel had used top 20 Mossad officials and it took almost two years to give shape to this high level secretive and daring operation. Speaking about the daring operations, many military experts believe that Mossad played a very critical role in helping Israeli soldiers in carrying a rescue operation in Uganda operation in 1976. Many hailed that rescue operation as the most daring operation ever carried out. Here I would like to give some fine details about this one of its current rescue operation. PLO, better known as Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, had hijacked an Israeli plane en route to France and was taken to Uganda airport. 
Now this fateful plane carried total 258 passengers, but PLO took only 53 Israeli Jews on a hostage and allowed other passengers to set free. PLO had threatened that they will kill all those 53 Israeli Jews if Israeli government does not agree to the demand of releasing PLO terrorists imprisoned in Israeli jails. Now Mossad's intelligence officials got quickly into action and worked round the clock to get precise information about the hijackers, the weapons they possessed and their exact location around Uganda airport. All this information was passed to Israeli soldiers who flight all the way to Uganda to carry out the rescue operation. During this gutsy rescue operation, Israeli soldiers not only killed all the PLO hijackers but rescued almost all the Israeli hostages completely unharmed. The success of this daring operation not only again showed the courage of this Israeli army but the sheer efficiency of Mossad. Mossad is an intelligence agency that probably every army and military organization would love to have at their disposal. Its mind-boggling success in carrying out audacious operations in the enemy countries is again simply unmatched. In other words, today Mossad epitomizes the military supremacy that Israel has so proudly achieved over the years. To sum up the entire story, the military achievement of such a tiny country is something that seriously needs to be praised. Remember, this is a country whose existence was threatened the day it was formed. And since then, this country has been under perpetual attack. Israel's sworn enemies had declared that the Jewish country would not survive for a long time and its destruction is only a matter of time. But forget about surviving. Today, Israel as a country is thriving as it has become one of the most developed countries in the world. Many critics may like to undermine the military achievements of Israel by claiming that Israel has a complete backing of the US and other Western countries. But such criticisms are completely naive and unwarranted, especially considering the fact that US also supplies arms to Arab countries like the Saudi Arabia and Qatar. But as we all know, the military achievements of neither Saudi Arabia nor Qatar are anywhere near Israel's military achievements. And that's it for this story. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. This is Prashant signing off. See you in the next one.